We are coming off another weekend where violence erupted across Indianapolis. At least 17 people shot, one person stabbed, all of that leaving four dead between Saturday and today. And here's a map of all of those shootings and the one stabbing. This violence is not happening in a single area. It's affecting many locations around Marion County, and it's a problem that's impacting so many of our neighbors. And the question city leaders and IMPD have been trying to figure out how do we curb this deadly crime? Several religious leaders across the city are now relying on their faith and they're asking others to do the same. WRTV's Megan Sanctorum has more on their effort to fast against crime. After another violent weekend in Indianapolis, faith leaders from all across the city gathered outside of the city county building, bowing their heads, clasping their hands, and turning to prayer. What would you expect from faith leaders but to lead the people in a stronger expression, public expression of their faith? Pastor Clyde Posley says he's working with religious leaders to plan a citywide fast. This fast that I'm calling is designed to bring us back to a place where we become more intimate with God as a part of the solution to the condition of our city. He plans to announce details later this week, but says he thinks it's a necessary step to help change the hearts of those committing some of the most violent crimes. And we expect there to be a turn. We expect to begin to stop getting up seeing this same thing every, every Monday morning or every Saturday morning. And that violence in the city knows no bounds. One of the young men that was shot seven times over the weekend was a former drummer at my church. Pastor Richard Willoughby says he's experiencing the impacts firsthand. When you look at the stuff that's going on on TV, it, you really can't personalize it. But when it actually happens next door or it happens to somebody in your family, it, it becomes real personal and becomes serious. And, and you want everybody to do e everything they can do, but that's what we should have been doing all along. This impacts us directly. Dr. Lionel Thomas Rush lost two of his nephews to violence. I lost many, many other people, uh, as does this pastor, as does all of these. We've lost so, so much through violence. Organizers recognize a citywide fast is a unique approach, but they're hoping community members join in and use their faith to support the work already being done to combat crime in the city. We're not politicians. We're not in charge of police reform. We're not in charge of grassroots programs. We're in charge primarily of bringing people back around to the reality that we need the help of God. If we want something different, we have to do something different. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV. Megan, thank you. The city of Indianapolis just made a major investment in violence prevention initiatives. Two weeks ago, the city county council approved a more than $3 million violence prevention plan. The money is supposed to help address some of the underlying causes of gun violence. $1.5 million was allocated to IMPD. That money will go toward improving and upgrading technology, increasing staffing, providing real-time crime data, and creating an officer intervention system. $1.8 million is being directed toward community-based programs. At least $390,000 will be allocated to programs geared toward young people. Money will also be spent on mental health professionals and on efforts to stop domestic violence.